All right, here are the supplies you need for today's project. We are going to start on our black paper, so I'm going to scoot these away, and we are going to use chalk to trace the head of our polar bear about in the middle of this black paper. On top of this circle shape, we're going to add two half circles for the polar bear's ears, and we're going to finish the bottom so it doesn't look like they're floating with some curved lines coming down towards the bottom of the paper for the shoulders and the start of the belly. At this point, I'm still working with chalk. I'm going to flip my chalk on its side and start to add some value rubbing on the side of my chalk. This is the part where we're going to have to use most of our time today blending so you can use your fingers just to, to smear that chalk into different values of white. We've got some lights and some really darker grays and whites. I might change and add more value using it like a pencil again, blending and rubbing those values together. We're going to do this on the head and the shoulders, adding value all over, getting our polar bear to look like they have a form instead of their flat shape. I spent some time before the video and created this one. It took me several minutes and I kept adding more chalk and blending and repeating that to get this really nice polar bear value form. Now I'm ready for the details. I'm switching to a black oil crayon. We spent a little time talking about how our chin and our neck are not at the same level. We want to make it look like our the head of the polar bear is kind of sticking out just like ours. So I'm going to give what looks like a necklace to my polar bear with this black oil crayon. And then I'm going to smear that to create some new values of gray. That's going to help it look like the head is kind of out further than the neck. With that black oil crayon, I'm going to add a triangle at the middle of my head pointing down. I'm going to color that triangle in. That's going to be my polar bear's nose. On both sides of that nose, I'm going to add eyes kind of up a little further. And the eyes are going to actually look like ours. They look like a, a football shape with a curved line at the top and a curved line at the bottom. If you want to try to draw those with pencil first, you can, because they're a tricky shape. I'm going to add a circle in the middle of those eyes. And to make my polar bear look like it has a snout, I'm going to add some lines coming up on the sides of the nose. And you can kind of smear those too to make it look like um, the bridge of the nose. At the bottom, I'm going to add what looks like a W for the polar bear's mouth. And inside the ears, we might add a little dark value, another half circle. If you want to kind of smear that half circle, you could to make it look a little bit fuzzy in the ears. Our next step after we have these details with the black oil crayon is to cut our polar bear out. So I am going to do that, and I apologize if this gets loud on the video. Sometimes that happens. This is going to help clean up our messy smeared chalk lines. Once we have this cut out, we are ready to do a little bit of gluing. there. <laughs> All right, we are gluing everything on to our blue paper. We're going to add a little snow bank at the bottom though. I've never seen a completely straight line of snow. So I am going to tear some top edges off of this. And sometimes I get a long line, sometimes it breaks. But snow can be really jaggedy. It can have some big spots cut out with your glue bottle. I'm going to pretend to glue for the video. You're going to add some glue to the snow. You're going to make sure when you flip it over that you're lining it up all the way at the bottom of that blue paper. If you have a space, it kind of looks silly. The snow has to touch the bottom. I'm going to glue the back of my polar bear, putting a little bit of glue all over. That polar bear is going to also line up at the bottom of the snow. It would look pretty silly if we had a space there. It looks like our polar bear maybe got cut off. So we're going to line that up really nice. And then I'm going to use my white oil crayon for the first time. 
and I'm going to add some snow in the background. So the snow could just be dots. If you want to take your time and make some really unique snowflakes, they don't all look the same. Maybe I'm going to add a few more dots on the side of this oil crayon. Maybe my next one is going to start with an X. Maybe it has a circle in it. Maybe it has some pointed ends to it. You could also use that oil crayon and add some lines that swirl like it's blowing snow in the winter. When you're done with all of those oil crayon designs, snowflakes, and wind, it's going to go in the drying rack. 